So let's convert pi over 9 radians uh, into degrees. So in order to do this conversion, we want to know a known relationship, all right? Uh, that there are pi radians in or equivalent to 180 degrees, all right? Now, when we set up this conversion, what I do is I start with my given value of pi over 9 radians. So I'm going to write it down, pi over 9, that's a d, pi over 9. Now the radians, they write next to the fraction, and that's fine. But I'm just going to move it into the numerator because it's basically saying the same thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by our known relationship. In other words, if the radians are in the numerator here, I want to then plug this value of radians into the denominator. And the reason why we're going to do that is because then the radians will look. The radians will cancel. Okay? But if I plug in then pi radians on the bottom, I have to plug in its equivalent value in degrees up on top. And now if you notice, the degrees won't cancel. That is good because that's what we want our unit to be in terms of degrees. And now literally all you got to do is just multiply it on out. Simplify if you can. And that's it. So notice the pi's are also, right, can also be canceled. They are on the uh, opposite side, right? One's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, so they can be canceled. A lot of times students might want to cross multiply here or something like that, and that's understandable because you see like two fractions, but you got to remember that you only cross multiply when there's an equal sign between these two. If it's multiplication, you just multiply straight across. There's no such thing as cross multiplication, okay, in that case. Then we also realize that, well, wait a minute, we also have a 9 and we have a 180. Can that be reduced? Sure it can, right? 9 goes into 180, it looks like about 20 times. So now, oh, that's it? Yeah, 20, right? All done. Well, put, put the box. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Appreciate it very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.